There is no way that God is going to allow himself to be ignored any longer. It is so obvious to me. He will not be ignored anymore. God, listen. You saw what's happened in the Carolinas and now Florida. I don't believe God sent that stuff. I know this much about the Bible. When a storm arose, the Bible says Jesus stood up and he rebuked the storm and it was made still. It was, we know from scripture in the gospels, Satan would create a storm to destroy the disciples and Jesus actually rebuked Satan and stopped the storm. I did, God didn't send destruction to the Carolinas. You know what happened? I fear that we're starting to live Deuteronomy 28. We told God to get out. At first he didn't listen. <laughs> He just hung in there with us. And then we demanded that he get out. We get your Bible out of our class because we want to teach our kids pornography. That's our new religion. Sex, perversion. And we're in control, not you, God. We, the debased reprobates, will make the decision of what a child is taught and indoctrinated with. And you say, isn't that horrible? It's not horrible enough, apparently. Because where are God's people? Where is your vote? Where is your voice? We have tolerated it, and we've done it for decades. And this nation is in the situation that it is in. I'm telling, before service, we're talking about this very truth. This nation is in the condition that it is in because the church has allowed it so. Did you know back in 1970, the context of the conversation was in 1973 when the uh, Supreme Court uh, voted for abortion in Roe v. Wade. Do you understand that if there would, if there would have been at least one million actual Christians in America then one million that's not many people back then I'm guessing uh, 73 maybe 200 million 250 million people lived here 80 percent claimed to be Christian what if one million Christians stood up and said nope Bad law, not accepting it. We're going to change this by the Constitution that gives us the rights. We are going to have these judges either impeached. You can impeach a judge, did you know that? Or we're going to pass a bill and we're going to fix this. We're going to protect the rights of the unborn child. Just one million people. That's nothing. But we didn't do that. Where's the outcry about human trafficking? Where's the outcry about gender mutilation of children being conducted by people who hate you? They actually hate you. That in the, these United States, your kids got to get your, your, your permission to get their ears pierced. You know, it's against the law to have an ear piercing on public school grounds. Did you know that? You cannot show up if you're piercing ears. You cannot pierce ears on a public school without parental consent. But the school, without your knowledge, will call an Uber and have your child taken to an abortion clinic and have an abortion and your kid comes home feeling sick that evening and you never knew it. That is the law. And we don't want to know it. 